Welcome back to a new episode of Celeste Tech Tutorials. Last time we covered hypers and supers, which are very important techniques we need to know for the future and for this video. If you don't know what a hyper is, I recommend checking out that video first before watching this one. Anyways, let's move on to some advanced tech for this episode's topic, bunny hops. Now before we talk about hyper bunny hops, let's first talk about regular bunny hops. What is a bunny hop? Basically, a bunny hop is when we jump off the ground as soon as we land. We use regular bunny hops specifically for speedruns because each jump gives Madeline a short burst of speed. So repeating bunny hops is the fastest method of dashless movement along flat ground. The best example of this is in the prologue where we don't have our dash yet. Now that we know what a bunny hop is, let's move on to hyper bunny hops. A hyper bunny hop is a combination of an instant hyper followed by a bunny hop, which allows us to easily gain momentum to perform larger jumps. The smaller or more instant the hyper is, the quicker Madeline can jump with the hyper momentum. Performing hyper bunny hops mainly comes down to making your inputs as short as possible. This is one of the first techniques that I find a lot of people struggle with. Most importantly, the hyper's jump needs to be really quick because otherwise you will not conserve your speed. Think about it this way, we don't need to have our dash after the hyper because we will just refill our dash when we bunny hop. So don't focus on extending the hyper or jumping at maximum height for the hyper at all. Hyper bunny hops are typically the longest and farthest form of dash tech that we can use. So we can cross large gaps using them. In general, the average setup for a hyper bunny hop has two platforms that we need to jump to in a short distance in order to make a big leap. As always, I'll show you the rest of the gym so you can get a better idea of how hyper bunny hops work. Now even though this tech isn't advanced, I think it's still really important to know this tech because it isn't explained in any Strawberry Jam gym or levels, yet it will still appear in Strawberry Jam. As far as I'm aware, this tech doesn't have any name or title, so I'll just either call it the Double Hyper Bunny Hop or a Multi Hyper Bunny Hop. The main level that this appears in is Shatter Song, a Grandmaster Red difficulty map. There are two instances where these setups appear, which require multiple bunny hops after the hyper. These can be frustratingly precise, and took me a really long time to figure out. I even made this custom setup to try getting them consistent. After trial and error, I figured the best way to do this is to do a small hop on the second platform, space your jumps by a very small amount of time before jumping the second time. If you input too early for the second jump, it will most likely not register the jump and you will instead jump over the platform. If you jump too late, you'll probably slide off the platform. That concludes this episode of Celeste Tech Tutorials. Thank you guys for watching and let me know your thoughts on this video in the comments. See you in the next tech tutorial.